Well, Graciela and Warren, if you live in just about any city in California's Central Valley, your town is likely to end up on somebody's worst of list, from the poorest to the fattest to, well, now the worst. In Mendota, it's a distinction folks we spoke with don't agree with. According to USA Today, Mendota's high poverty rate and high crime statistics are among the reasons it's the least desirable place to live in the United States. Mendota Mayor Robert Silva has a problem with that. So the good statistics that there's high unemployment, crime in the area and all that, which is negative, it's not true. Our uh, crime rate is way down. Our, the city is continuing to thrive. More businesses are coming into the community. Mendota has a population of about 11,000. Silva says the unemployment rate of 15% is distorted because of the seasonal nature of agricultural work. As to crime, the paper notes about 60 crimes per year for every 10,000 people. Fresno averages about 56. According to the Fresno County Sheriff's Office, Mendota has averaged about four murders a year, nearly all gang-related. But it's not the side of the city Luis Zuniga, a state employee, sees. I've been working here for almost a year and a half, and I think it's a peaceful place. I know I've heard about gangs and other things going on, but um, I am a public servant, and I see uh, nothing but hard worker, honest people here. It humbles me to serve them. I'm proud of working here. Mendota is primarily a farm worker community known as the world's cantaloupe capital, but things are changing. New homes and businesses are cropping up. Maggie Luhan grew up here, but left for a few years, then came back. Things are getting better. Things, um, as far as businesses goes and job employment opportunities are getting better. Also, it's a big ag industry out here, so it's growing. Do you like living here? I do. I do. I grew up here, and I do. Nearly half of Mendota's population lives below the poverty line, and the biggest single group is under 18. Less than 2% of the population has a college degree. It's one of the lowest rates in the country. But do the statistics really tell the story? So when someone says, well, this is the worst place to live in America. It is not. Not to what I've seen. Articles like that, of course, so uh, it doesn't make our community look good. But still, uh, we get phone calls from uh, organizations that want to build additional homes and businesses. Now, three other Central Valley cities, Avidal, Firebaugh, and Orange Cove, also made the list as being among the 50 worst places to live. Gene Higginson, ABC 30 Action News. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.